today in this video I'm teaching you how to get this achieved look. Um, it's basically just like a little black dress, a math dress, and like a nice flannel with um, some crimped hair, and then like a simple makeup look for your New Year's party. And I'm going to be showing you my go-to dance moves, so stay tuned if you want to learn how to achieve this look. Okay, so for my makeup today, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette right here. It's great. I got it at Target for $27.95. I'll put the link in the bio. So I'm going to be using this blue color. I already kind of started to put it on. And you're just going to want to take it and you're going to want to like just rub it in that like um, pancake of your eye socket. Just like smash it into your eyes and it looks really good. So I'm going to show you like when I'm done. Let's do this dark purple right here, and you're just going to take it all the way up to your eyebrow. I know this looks a little bit bold, but it will definitely get the boys to notice you. Okay, so after you do that, like, it's very, I mean, you can tell the difference when you're looking at it on camera. You can't really tell the difference that much, but it looks so good, I promise. Okay. So then you're going to use this shimmery color right here, but you want to make sure that you don't like spread your purple around. So like it just looks like you got hit by your husband, but like just rub it all over your hand. You can wash it off later or keep it, you know. Um, so I'm just going to rub that in the sparkly palette because you know sparkles is all good for New Year's. Bring the sparkles up in here just to add like a pop of color to make your eyes just look like they're like so freaking big and bright. I like to use eyeshadow for eyeliner because I'm cheap and um I haven't paid my bills this week for my house and I might get kicked out by the landlord so I just like to play it safe. So yeah if you make that this face like it goes on a lot better. And then, like, you go like this. It doesn't matter if you get it, like, all over your bottom. It just, like, as long as they look really long and luscious, it's freaking fine. Like, you're going to look beautiful either way. So this is basically, like, this whole entire look is just, like, getting that guy. You know that guy that you want to, like, kiss you at New Year's at, like, 12? This will totally get you there. Because it makes your eyes pop and, like, people will definitely notice you and look at you differently. I did it last year and all, everyone was, like, looking at me. So I got, like, so much attention. So now for my brows, I'm going to be using this. I got it at Walgreens. And I'm just going to rake out my eyebrows. Kind of like the lawn guys rake your leaves. And then I'm going to take this brush. Actually, no, that's a crappy brush. I'm going to take this brush. And I'm going to do, like, dark brown. Like, just fill them in, like, as dark as you can. You know what? I'm just, just do black. You want a more defined look. Like, that's in right now. So just, like, go buck wild. Like, that looks good. That looks natural. Mm -hmm. But, like, also, you can definitely tell, like, wow, your brows are looking pretty good tonight. So also, if you have, like, a little bit of unibrow hair, you're just going to want to fill that in. Basically, like, this looks a little bit um, rigid right now. So you're just going to want to, like... Make more of like a defined straight line because you want to know everyone that you're, you want to let everyone know that you're like really straight, you know? <sighs> Sorry, just looking at my face just took my breath away because I'm so beautiful. Um, so yeah, hold on, let me just fill that in. So yeah, this is like the finished brow look and it looks like really subtle but you like filled in everything so... It definitely, like, defines your eyebrows, so it looks, like, really good. Now, I'm going to do some contouring. So, yeah, let's get started with that. I'm going to take my Super Stay Better Skin Camouflant Corrector. I don't know what camouflant means. I think it means, like, camouflage? I don't know. Just dab it everywhere because you know you're ugly, so, like, why not just cover up every little imperfection on your face? Because you don't want, like, anything, any, like, of your natural beauty showing. And you're going to just take this MAC powder. You're going to want it, like, four shades, like, whiter than your actual color. And just, like, rub it all over your face. Oh, 
Okay. And then for a little bit of contour, because you know you want your, like, to look, like, really defined. So I'm going to take some brown eyeshadow. And just... Oh, yeah. It just looks like you just took, like, your dog's feces and just smeared it on your face. Like, that's a good look. So, yeah. That's, like, the first part. And then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. And this just, like, really defines your cheekbones and makes it known, like, oh, that girl has cheekbones. Because, like, some people don't know. And then you're going to want to just put it on your chin so you have that, like, a freaking one jawline. And then you're going to just take your MAC powder again. And you're just going to go like this. And, like, dab on it. Because, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. Okay, so that's, like, pretty much the finished makeup look. And then you're going to want to do some bold lips. So I'm going to put on Blistex because you know you're going to be kissing like eight guys tonight and like you want to be moisturized. And you're just going to want to take, I'm using this Clinique chubby stick, not skinny stick, chubby stick. And I'm just going to like do it over your lip line just so boys are like, dang, that girl has some big chompers. Because that's, like, really in right now, and it's really hot. So, it's, like, not, oh, whoops, I got some stuff on my chin. Probably just going to leave it there. It looks kind of good. It looks like a mole, almost. Mm. That's good. Okay, so I just overdrew my lip line a little bit, and you know, since it's, um, what holiday is it? New Year's, you're gonna wanna, I have like some green glitter, that I'm just gonna rub all over my lips, so it like, I don't know, it just adds some glitter look, so I'm gonna come back and show you, I'm just gonna like go like that, so yeah. This is kind of like the finished look, but now it's like the second part, and that's the hair, of course, so I'm gonna be using a crimping iron by Bedhead. Crimping is so cute, and like so in right now. So you're just gonna wanna hold it on there like this. This is like half of the look. Um... It's not crimping very well, but you're just gonna, it's even better if you have like sopping wet hair and you put it on 400 degrees, your crimps will be so good. So yeah, um, you're just gonna want to crimp it up, girl. Like I know you can. And you're gonna want to get literally every inch of your head crimped to the crevices. Okay, so this is like the finished product. It's pretty crimped, like you can't tell very well. And it's even better if you like tease it right here. But I'm going to show you like a hairstyle, like a scrunchy thing that I like to do with it. Just to add a little more like, ah! Uh, okay. Okay, so now you're just going to want to take your scrunchie. I'm using a red scrunchie. And I'm just doing this. And I want like some of my hair forward. And then, like, a bunch of this up like this. And you're just going to want to bump it up. And then do it like this. So just tie it around. And then, like, when you're dancing, you can, like, swing it in boys' faces. And they're like, oh, my God, her hair smells like fire because she just crimped it. Now I'm going to show you the clothes because, you know, I can't go looking like this because then boys are going to be like, oh, my God, are you homeless? But they're going to see my beautiful face and be like, oh my god, she's so sexy. But I'm going to show you the perfect New Year's outfit. To start off my look, I'm just going to be using this like black, like skimpy dress. And you want to hike it up as much so you look like a little hoe. Yeah. So like I'm wearing this one. It's for my soccer uniform. And I'm going to show you the rest of the outfit next. The next part, I'm going to be taking my favorite t-shirt. It's my I Heart Math teacher. I got it at Math Nasium. Math Nasium. And I'm just going to be, um, that looks so good. Now, since, you know, you're trying to get that achieved look for New Year's, you're going to get balloons and blow them up and put them right here. I'm getting these balloons from Unique, and I got these at Publix. They're only, like, a dollar, so they're, like, really good. 
<sighs> you don't want to make them too big because you don't want people to be like, did she get like a like surgery or something? So you don't want to make it too obvious. So you're just going to put them in your shirt, like underneath your dress. Just have one in. It looks pretty natural too. Like I don't think anyone's going to like notice that much. But you want to make sure you blow up two balloons or then it will look very unproportional. <laughs> So now is like the perfect achieved look. Um, so I have my black dress underneath from UFA Soccer. And I have my math shirt on. And then just to finish off the outfit to make it a little bit more classy, I'm going to add a flannel. So ready? This is like the finished outfit with the flannel. It looks really cute and really chic. This is like my go-to New Year's song that is like gonna be my New Year's like playlist. So let's turn it on. Um, um, make sure that doesn't happen at your, your, your New Year's party or you're going to be publicly humiliated. Um, I forgot to make an outro, so I'm just filming like a voiceover, but I hope you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Bye!